Hey, how you doing? I'm Brent Bastard, this is Derek Bastard, and this is Bastard TV. Alright, so, just going over some of the optics we're running through this season. Uh, we normally have only ever done BBs, which we do very well, right? Damn right. Um, so, we decided we needed some more stuff in the store. We've been watching ASC, listening to customers like we always do, and one of the things we notice is everybody is talking about night vision. Everybody's talking about optics breaking, and we wanted to bring in some SKUs and some items that would address that. So, why don't you cover that? This is our tracer unit. It's an M125. It's an originally a Jingong uh, design, M125. M5? M5. M125. Uh, we brought these in as a response to uh, what, three years, I think it was, of people asking for a BB Bastard Tracer. Well, they started with asking for the BBs, and we finally obliged last year. Yeah. Well, you know what? If we do the BBs, we got to do the Tracer along with it. So here it is. This is the new BB Bastard M125 Tracer unit. I had one of these last year. I tell you, they are great. Every single BB is 100% illuminated, and if you doesn't matter how fast your gun is, this thing's got a computer chip in there that literally calibrates it and senses how f uh, your rate of fire and it just hits every single one in a nice big stream. And that's a fact because I've actually tried it on my PTW with a gold cylinder and has no trouble tracking the BB, even on full auto. I did it on my M60 with a LiPo, every single one. Beautiful stream of BBs. These things are great. Not only does it look nice and sleek, low profile, comes with batteries automatically. You know, I don't even know what those BBs are, but you're gonna get a package They're deal with BB bastards. <laughs> They're quality, quality tracer BBs. The best thing about this tracer unit is right here. That was, that's the internal. This is the can. It's fully take out. You can take this entire internal package out. Okay, I'll just show you here. It comes, uh, if you actually pull this top off, and Derek's gonna show you how the batteries come off. You just unscrew simple. this. This is pretty simple. But that assembly is only held on with three screws, three little Phillips screws. Um, it's strong enough for regular day-to-day -day use, uh, but the cool thing is you can actually separate the guts of the system from this can and then stick it in. Easy to maintain, you have. easy to change your batteries. You got four AAA batteries. I recommend you know high-quality Duracells, Energizer, whatever. You know, real easy. Put it back together. Neatest thing about this, and we're going to show you coming up is you can put this in another different, whatever silencer you want. You want to put it in a longer one. Uh, one with all the little circles or holes and whatever. You guys, you love your special fancy silencers that I can't name off the top of my head. This, with some modifications, maybe some uh, some spacer inside. Some foam. Put it right in. Foam. We'll show you the foam application in a minute. But the, we'll the cool thing that. is you can actually now buy one silencer. And if you have like a TM branded suppressor or a Magpul PTS branded suppressor or a Gentech branded suppressor or whatever you have, you can now take the guts of this out stick it in that one and not have to worry about buying other tracer units. So it makes it a little more flexible. What will make it even better is for if you've got an, uh, like an M11 pistol or an MP7, the threads on the silencer are smaller than these. Perfect. This should go right into it. Depends on the length of the silencer, of course. There you go. Versatility. Pretty solid option. We're going to show you some close-ups actually doing that swap in a minute. Now to the optics. Um, this is only going to be the optics for now. We're going to show you one night vision piece. We have some other handheld night vision uh, skewing, but we wanted basically in this sitting to just show you stuff that goes on your rifle. So we're going to start with this. This, this is my favorite one. <laughs> this is all Sightmark okay. stuff, by the way, despite the fact that this says Pulsar on it. Sightmark owns them. Um, this is a holographic weapon sight a la EOTech. Yeah, um, just it's like a an reflex EOTech. sight. The cool thing about this is it's rated for 762 by 39 so Derek brought this up to me. If you guys are running uh, WE gas blowbacks and you're starting to do modified stuff and the bolt's really heavy, we've exactly. seen situations in ASC where guys are, are ruining their optics with blowbacks. This is rated to 762 by 39 This is a real steel sight, okay? This isn't real an airsoft. Um, yeah. It comes with the full real steel warranty. It's bomb proof. Um, this one in particular has a laser on it. We're not bringing those in, although you can cust you can you can request one from us. We'll get you one with a laser on it. But we know the the, the situation with lasers and airsoft. This is a weapons grade laser, so you really yeah. don't want to be pointing them. This is one of the demos that we got. Um, it has four reticle, four different reticle options. This is where I'll be inserting something that shows you this up close. Um, it is 
it comes with the built-in QD mount. Again, you're going to see this up close short, shortly. Uh, and the ones we're bringing in, while they don't have the laser, they have the digital push button on off and brightness settings like a real EOTech does. Very cool setting. Very cool settings. Runs on a couple of flat watch batteries, has a life of like 10,000 hours, it's ridiculous. So if you're sick and tired of buying airsoft optics that fall apart, break, uh, if this has an incredibly clear reticle on it, it's just ridiculous. Even in daylight. Even in daylight, and no, just today no we found out it works really well on, on bright snow, snow that's lit by bright sunlight. You can still see the reticle on this unfold. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to put it on full to see it. I compare this to my clone, uh, basically one of these, mm -hmm. and you know what? You lose the rec uh, rectile? rectile? Reticle? Reticle? Yeah, reticle. Yeah, you lose that in a, like a bright daylight situation up against snow, something bright. You have to be in like a forest and stuff for this thing to really work great or, or in, inside dark. This thing, no problem. Clear, crystal clear reticle, good to go. Exactly, and, and, it, and it is a feature you can actually, if you shoot real steel, and just swap this out, drop it on your, drop exactly. it on your rifle. And real steel go. quality, China clone price. Exactly, so this will be it. retailing at about $185, $190, uh, and again, with the full warranty. And it's not, uh, it has a plastic polymer interior like all the Eotex do, but it actually has a steel it actually has a steel uh, exoskeleton on the outside, so it's it's really robust. It's made to go on a real firearm. Pick it up, solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. So I just picked this one up. This is your uh, general, what the heck do you call these? I guess uh, aim point. Aim point. Just ish. your general aim point. Aim point ish. ish. We're not we're not infringing on any trademarks here. This is a, this is a model point we ish. There you go, baby <laughs> bastard. Aim point ish. ish. There you go. Okay, standard cantilever mount. Uh, it's just simple. Flip up covers. You got your your uh, brightness settings. It goes up to five. You got your dot, really simple. Again, real steel quality. Rated this for 762 by 39. Stick it on your gas blowback guns. I know a lot of people like with gas blowback stuck their clones on it. Bang, reticle, everything done. Couldn't handle it. This thing will handle all the vibrations, all the recoil for half the price of a real steel. Exactly. Probably a fraction. Fraction of the You price. can say fraction. We'll be retailing this somewhere around $100, $110. So. Again, I, we, we're yeah. actually going to end up having guys who are real steel shooters doing most of this stuff. This is the Dr. Optic. Uh, right off the bat, I'll tell you something, I'm not a big fan of these because they're actually not very bright. Um, this is, again, Some is all metal like construction. Yeah. If you're into the Dr. Optic or you like to use it as a backup on the side, I know a lot of guys now have the have the 45 degree rails, so you can just cant your rifle to the right and then bring this up as a secondary sight if you have something that's magnified or you have to go close quarters. Also good for on top of your ACOG that are made for it. Exactly. exactly it. You drop your doctor on top of your ACOG. One of the things that this has that most of the other models don't have is an on-off switch. I know the first Ooh. model I had actually was put the batteries in it and they just ran all the time. Because the uh, lead was so small, um, it never, it didn't draw draw enough voltage to even worry about it. This has an on-off switch, and, and this one, ha this particular one is in green. It has a green dot, so there's an option here for a red and a green dot. Um, again, all metal construction runs on a couple of flat pack watch batteries. Very comes robust. with a cover. Comes with all of the uh, which we don't have here. We have the retail box. Comes with the aiming dial so that you can adjust mm -hmm. it and do your do your uh, do your uh, aiming so that you have your uh, co witness and stuff like that. Great little thing. Again, going to be right around hundred dollars Canadian. Great price. Quality. This, Quality. any of you who are on ESC may have saw our retail thread that we update. Uh, you may have seen something uh, in one of the blogs. This is not the one that I put on ESC. This is the next model up. This is, this, uh, this is the Pulsar Sentinel. This is an excellent night vision optic. Again, real steel optic at a price that we think airsofters could get into. This um, is, looks like a big gigantic optic and in reality it's actually really light. It's uh, it got light. a titanium body on it which was surprised me when I actually looked at the specs of it. Uh, this is one of the uh, one of the optics we sourced at SHOT Show when we were now for SHOT Show. Uh, it's got a titanium body, it's a Gen 1 Plus tube with, uh, they have some circuitry in there that pick things up a little better. Uh, it's definitely not Gen 3 but it doesn't have a Gen 3 price point either. Yeah, um, big, big something. Runs on two AA batteries, which is awesome. You're not hunting for CR123s anymore. Yeah. Uh, runs on typical uh, AA batteries. It's mil spec to, uh, I think you can go, uh, I think it's like a foot or two, a uh, meter or two underwater with this. It's actually waterproof all the way around. Uh, it has an IR light on it uh, that is adjustable so you can do a spot and you can do a flood. It has two different color reticles. It has a reticle brightness adjustment that goes from really, really dim to really, really bright depending on your lighting conditions. And uh, one of the other really nice features I saw 
was if you're out in the field and you actually have to do change this, even if you even if it's on airsoft, I know a lot of snipers actually do this very accurately. Um, you don't need a quarter or a key or a hex wrench or anything to sight this in. It's actually a dial you can just turn with your fingers, which is really handy. If you got to do a quick adjustment in the field to come up a couple of notches, there you go. Like everything Easy. else from Sight Mark. This is a great feature for this. Comes thing with as well. its remote. It's got a remote for it. Turn it off on your IR. Everything, right there. Push button. Boom. Ready to go. And uh, all the Sightmark products that we carry, if uh, they have some kind of an optional switch like this, this model, if you do do a special order for it, it comes with the pressure switch. It's not a. It's not an extra feature, which is great. Yeah. This will retail somewhere around seven hundred dollars. Um, we haven't got clear pricing on it yet for bulk. Uh, one more feature I forgot to point out. Uh, people wonder why this rail is on the side. A lot of people think it's so you can put a red dot on it. It's not. No. Uh, Pulsar actually has a line of IR laser flashlights that you can put on the side of this that are unbelievable. Uh, they have an 850 and a 900 nanometer which works with this. So you can actually have a flashlight on the side of this unit that has no red light whatsoever. This does emit a small red light, but you can put a, a laser flashlight on which is an accessory. I think it's $143. Uh, and there you go. So now, if you're worried, uh, if you're one of those guys in the threads on ASC who was complaining that you couldn't get affordable night vision, this is actually really good. I'm, I'm impressed with this. It's not quite as clear as our digital stuff, but it has a little more light gathering ability than our digital stuff does. We're going to have another show on that soon. But right. that's what's going to get us started. So stay tuned. We're going to do something with the, uh, with the suppressor guts and give you a little uh, you gearhead something to do with our, our, our new tracer unit and make it adaptable to a, few other, uh, to a few other applications you might have. And, uh, well, that's the first show. Welcome to Bastard TV. I'm Brent. Derek. Have a great day.